Are you all right, by the way? Yeah. Are you all right? I'm really pleased. I really appreciate you coming out on a great Saturday afternoon to Leeds Arts Party. By the way, Leeds Arts Party, you tweet like you are like like my whole Twitter feed is just Leeds Arts Party. <laughs> Leeds Arts Party in forty days time. <laughs> Leeds Arts Party thirty nine days time. <laughs> <laughs> which is good. Which is good. Which is good. I'm, I'm not, uh, uh, morning breaks. They always said I was over the edge, and now I am, I really am, I'm over the edge. But as, do you know what, today, I don't feel good today. I don't feel great today, you know what I mean? I don't feel great. I, I don't, I just, I, I don't know, I split up with my girlfriend after 11 years, and it kind of, you know, it kind of, every now and again, it kind of, it kind of echoes back at you, you know. It's been a few months now, but it's still like, it's like we've moved house and we've sold our place and, and what have you. We all go through our stuff, you know what I mean? This isn't therapy. By the way, I don't believe art is therapy either. I believe there is an art therapy practice that can happen, but art is not per se therapy. Therapy is therapy. So this is not therapy. I'm just sharing that story with you. I don't feel so fantastic today. And I'm glad I've said it out loud. And the reason I, I, I can say it out loud, and the reason that I love working in the arts is because it accepts a human being for all of their flaws. You don't have to be together all of the time. You don't have to be on the top of your game all of the time. You don't have to walk into the office like you are or somebody. You don't have to be above somebody. Your greatest competitor is your art, and that's where you, that's where you put your work in. And I love that of the arts. I love that. I love the fact that you are allowed to have your, your mood. You're allowed to feel down, you're allowed to feel depressed, and you're allowed to feel up, you're allowed to feel too high, you're allowed to feel too... It's, it's one of the most beautiful things about working in the arts, rather than, you know, in, in uh, outside of the arts. We are, we are accepting of that space, which is where we all are. <laughs> um, but again, it's not therapy. Your work is not... It's, there is a difference between between feeling that way and actually, yeah. Saying that, this poem's called Morning Breaks. They always said I was over the edge, and now I am, I really am, I'm over the edge. But as, a, as I dropped uh, in a gasp of air, I grasped a branch that I hoped had its roots in the rock or rock solid roots. But there's a breeze blowing, a stunning storm coming, Thickening ink spills and swills on a bleating paper sky. A crowd of rain on the horizon staggers nearer. I sway so, I know so, I slip a little more. I sway so, I know so, I grip a little more. These tender fingers in a clenched fist. I must have slipped my back when I fell. It hurts like a howl, it stings like a scowl. It weeps and stings again, and the skin splits and spits from my spine sides, and a pain develops muscles that create mouths that simulate sounds of whole cities screaming. There's a storm coming, a coming storm. Dust spits from the cliff top into my river eyes, forcing tears over the banks to flood me. I will not drown in them. I will not drown. I'm hanging on. I am hanging on. I am hanging on. In the zip of a thick ribbon of wind, a god or a devil appears floating in front of me and tells me in the hunch of a New York accent, let go. <laughs> let go. Death is the beginning of the end of the beginning of the end of the beginning of the end of the beginning of the end. And he continues for 41 days and 41 nights of the end of the beginning of the end of the beginning of the end of the beginning of the end. And in a crack of lightning, the devil, the god, has vanished. There's nothing more for me to concentrate on but the storm, the sky, and my breaching back, and the cliff at the edge, and the uprooting branch, and my knuckles, so sore, cracked and numb, they favour a knot of bleeding wood. If I look down, and I do look down, I can see the blood has poured from my back, seeped along the smoothness of my backside, slid under me, coiled its way seductively around my thighs, my knees, my ebonized legs, and I watch the blood pour in abundance from my feet and skydive, 
I watch red tears fall forever and transform into explicit flowers as they reach the floor and will not become one. I am hanging on. I am hanging on. Whispers from above me. From above me, whispers gather. The cliff ledge lined with edgy people of all colours. Some humming amazing grace. Others simply staring. Some I saw pointing at my back and wincing. A bearded man with his hand on a Bible or a red book or a white book or a leather book, a revolutionary book or a dark green book shouted down to me in sermonic tones deeper than the sea, let go! In the name of, let go! A nervous follower peeps down and offers the advice that there's someone down there. They'll catch you. And before I get a chance to answer them, they erupt into a sky-shattering, Someone's crying, Lord, let go! Someone's crying, Lord, let go! The harmony of their collective voices woke the spirit of the sky and they threw crosses at me. It's raining crosses. I look down past my feet, a devil or a god, a man the size of a pea, is mouthing the words, up to me, let go. Night time was approaching, breathless I whispered, I will not fall, never have, never will, not fall. But as quick as they came, it's as quick as they were gone. But I'm hanging on me, I'm hanging on, I'm hanging on. Darkness cloaked the horror of night time of gangrenous spirits that fed upon open wounds. As lightning struck, I saw glimpses of their faces, demons whose countenance had slipped, whose fingers had stretched and nails had curled, whose breath stank so viciously that I spewed into the sea my mantra, I'm hanging on, I am hanging on, I am hanging on, I am hanging on, throughout darkness and fear until sunrise and the stillness of morning breaking. I was a silhouette, hanging on a branch against a chalky cliff. Only the sound of my trickling blood, my breaking back, and the moaning sky for comfort. My shadow stretched across the cliff like a script title on handmade paper. The sulking storm retreated into the horizon to recollect. Even the sea tried to throw off its reflection. And I listened more to the tearing of my back flesh as I hanged, the flapping wet skin of my blooded back as it hanged, tears painted salt veins along my ebonized skin, as that stark sun, as that stark sunlight skidded across a bloodied sky, I sensed the presence of two symmetrical shadows descending. They stretched seemingly, even pushed back the clouds seemingly. I felt them push warm air into my face seemingly, saw them in the corner of each of my eyes seemingly, magnificent wings seemingly, and I felt new muscles in my back and my chest expand with air further and further, a new air and new spirit, and there, with not a soul around me, I unpeeled my tender fingers from that dew-drenched branch, I let the sun pour into my eyes, and finally, after years, I let go. Why? Because I was growing wings all the time and I can fly. <laughs>